Why is it so hard to balance my swimming pool chemistry or stated another way? Why do some people really struggle to balance their swimming pool? And if I'm trying to be as helpful as possible here, the the best way that I can describe this is that if you get too many sources of information, you're almost surely going to have conflicting information. You kind of need to choose one source and use that source to learn swimming pool chemistry. And that's like we're talking science here. There really is only one approach to maintaining swimming pool water. But if you start to shop around for, you know, helpful information and ask your neighbor, Bob, what he uses, and you know, you're going to get advice and you're going to get a lot of advice, but most of it isn't very good. You know, one example I like to give is people will post a picture of a green swimming pool and they'll say like, oh, I've tried everything. What do I do? And you'll get a bunch of advice from people. People will say like, ah, you know, you need to add acid or somebody will say you need to add baking soda. Somebody else says you need to add chlorine. Someone else says you have too many phosphates but they're all guessing nobody did a water test like if you don't post water test variables numerical values for your water test variables who knows what's going on in your water and it's the equivalent of saying to somebody like oh i'm having problems with my car and they say oh you got to add oil to the transmission it's like i didn't tell you what was wrong yet i didn't give you any symptoms you don't know anything about the car how can you be telling me what i should do to solve my car problem if you don't know what the heck is going on, and that's what's going on with water chemistry. If you're getting advice and then taking action based on that advice, and nobody's done a water test, and nobody's talking about the numerical values for your water test variables, well, then there's a probably a pretty good chance that you're making a mistake. And, and here's the big problem. If you don't understand why you're having so much trouble to balance your water chemistry, it's a moving goalpost situation. Like maybe you even were doing a really good job and your pool was almost balanced, but then it rained last night. And you don't know this, but the rain affects the pH of the water and it definitely affects the sanitizer level. And maybe if you didn't have that much chlorine in your water, you might even have green water by the time you wake up. And you're thinking to yourself, this is crazy. I thought that I was doing such a good job and now I, my water is green again. But what you should understand is, again, the goalposts are moving here. The water is always experiencing different environmental changes. And if you have a big pool party and a bunch of swimmers, that's going to affect the water a whole bunch. So, again, you might have been almost perfectly balanced and then something happened and now the goalposts move. You have to retest the water reevaluate where you're at with your water chemistry and then take action based upon that. And again, never take action like adding chemicals to your pool based on advice from somebody who doesn't know the current water test variables for your water. It's it's literally irresponsible for people to give advice on what you should do to your water without first knowing what's going on in the water because there's no magical solution here. There's only science and chemistry and it's the way that you should balance your pool water. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.